Hello, welcome to Rooftops of America. I'm Skymar Thaler. Today, we're counting down the 10 easiest state high points in the USA. But before we start that, take a moment to click that red subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it for all the latest Rooftops of America updates. State high points come in all shapes and sizes, whether they're hills, mountains, plains, lawns. It's that diversity that makes this adventure so much fun. But to me, what's even more surprising is just how many of them fall on the, dare I say, easy and straightforward to access side of things. In fact, you can make a pretty strong case that well over a third of U.S. state high points could be categorized as easy. Of that group, though, some of them take the concept of easy to another level. And it's those that are the ones we're interested in. Now, of course, this is not the first time this has ever been done. There are other lists out there that rate the difficulty of all the U.S. state high points. And I've put a couple of those links down in the description if you want to go check them out. But to create and evaluate the high points that made my list, I used two distinct criteria. The first is how easy is it to summit the high point once you arrive? In other words, how much physical effort does it take to reach the top from where you park? Taking in factors like the quality of the trail. Is it rugged or paved? Is there any notable elevation gain? Or is there mechanical assistance to help you on your way? The second factor is how easy is it to get there? Are there visiting hours? What is the quality of the roads? Is it open year round? How much map work is involved? This is a bit more subjective, but I'd argue it's just as important as the first bit of criteria. With those two things in mind, let's dive into our list. Coming in at number 10, Whittle Mountain, Mississippi. We start our list off with this deep south high point. The one mile road to the top is gravel, but once you get up there, you can park right next to the marker. And because of its southern location, snow should rarely, if ever, be a factor. Number nine, Britton Hill, Florida. Located a bit over an hour north of Pensacola, in the Florida Panhandle, you may think this high point should be a lot higher on the list. But here's a little secret though. The highest point isn't at the monument, but a short hike in the woods next to it. Number eight, Jerimoth Hill, Rhode Island. It's hard to believe it when you're taking this walk in the woods that this high point used to be on the most difficult list. These days though, the toughest thing about this short hike is making sure you don't trip over a root. Number seven, Tomsock Mountain, Missouri. Less than 100 miles away from St. Louis in Iron County, this high point can be found in the same named state park. Despite being relatively remote, this may be the most accessible of trails on the list. With a well-paved, smooth path usable by strollers and wheelchairs. Number six, Hawkeye Point, Iowa. Located north of the city of Sibley, in the northwestern corner of the state, this high point is bounded by fields of soybeans and corn. And while Hawkeye Point celebrates its agricultural heritage, you won't have to worry about traversing through any of those. Just park your car and take a nice stroll across the lawn to reach the top. Number five, Brasstown Bald, Georgia. The tallest peak on our list, the Peach State, is a high point 
of choose your own adventure when it comes to difficulty, but its easy level is truly easy. There is a shuttle at the parking lot that will drive you up to the summit. From there, it's only a matter of getting past a closed door, which the folks running the museum are happy to open if you ask. Number four, Chihaw Mountain, Alabama. Located on Chihaw Mountain State Park, reaching the top of this peak is just a matter of driving up and parking right next to Bunker Tower. Walk up a few steps and find the benchmark and the sidewalk leading to the building that not only houses an observation platform, but also a museum. Pro tip though, walk to the back of Bunker Tower for the real state high point. Number three, Hoosier Hill, Indiana. Located about 10 miles north of Interstate 70 on the eastern side of the state, it is pretty much pavement all the way till the very end. The only dirt you'll encounter is when you pull into the gravel driveway and then take a short walk into the wooded glade. If there is a challenge, well, it can be a bit buggy during the spring and summer. Number two, Campbell Hill, Ohio. The most manicured high point in the country is also incredibly convenient for visitors. Located on the Ohio High Point Career Center grounds, High Pointers just have to drive through the gate and up the hill and get out of the car and walk a short distance to the High Point. If the main gate is closed, the walk inside gate is always open. You'll just have a little bit of a longer trek. Finally, number one. Ebright Azimuth, Delaware. Located in the suburbs just a few miles away from downtown Wilmington, Ebright Azimuth is quite literally right off the road. The hardest thing you may have to do is find a place to park. I recommend parking on nearby Gateway Avenue, then it's just a quick walk down the sidewalk to gain the summit. And there they are the top 10 easiest state high points in the USA based on ease of access and the amount of physical exertion necessary to reach the top once you arrive. Don't agree with the list or think other high points should have made it on instead? Well, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm Scott Mar Thaler. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Rooftops of America. Before you go, Click those like and subscribe buttons below, and I'll see you soon.